أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدر الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور مدتاتها وكل مدتة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار الحمد لله بعون من الله سبحانه وتعالى في هذه الأمسية في هذه الليلة نحن في مسجد مكي في نيوك برونس إن شاء الله مع شيخنا كيبو تشام والذي جارنا من جنبيا هذا شرف لنا ونرحب به ونسأله سبحانه وتعالى أن يبارك في قتاه وفي جهوده وأن يشدده وأن يجعل ما يلقي من كلمة نافعة لنا والجميع المسلمين هو نعرفه شيئا إنه من جنبيا مولودا و درس هناك في سن الصغر ثم سافر إلى مدينة مدينة المنورة ودرس في جامعة الإسلامية وتخرج هناك عام 2009 الحمد لله أنا قابلته هناك هو ما كان يعرفني ولكن عام 2008 رأيناه في منى فجزنا معا في عام 2008 هذا شهادة منا أننا التقينا معه في مملكة نسأله سبحانه أن يجعل ما تعلم ودرس نافعا له والجميع الأمة والآن هو مدرس في معهد تلندي وعيدا له معهد طيبة الطيبة إن شاء الله هو منسقل ببث العلم ومنسقل بطلب والبث ونسأله سبحانه وتعالى أن يعينه على ذلك وأن يجعلنا من الذين يقتدون بآثارهم. Brothers and sisters, after praising Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, it is divine and none deserve to be worshipped except Allah. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the servant and messenger of Allah. Tonight, we are in the Makin Masjid in the Bronx, New York, with one of our eminent Sheikh, Kebu Cham, who visited us from Gambia. We are delighted. We are very happy for his visitation. He came here solely for da'wah. Any steps that he took from Gambia all the way to here, may Allah put it in his mizan al-hasanat. Just to give a little introduction about him, personally we know him, he's from Gambia by birth. Alhamdulillah, he elementary level of education, he took it in Gambia, he took knowledge in the Gambia. <coughs> And then after he traveled to Saudi Arabia, Jamia Islamia in Medina, he was a student there. I myself witnessed that. That time he didn't know me, but I met him in uh, 2008. We performed Hajj together. I saw him in Mina. That time he was a student in Medina. A year after that he graduated, which was 2009. Since then he came back to Gambia. He's a teacher in the schools. Contemporary, he is teaching in Mahad Talindi. There is a school, non school in the Gambia by this title. He is a teacher there now, as we are talking. And if I am not mistaken, he is Imam also in Masjid of that Mahad. He is Imam right there. He also he has his own school, not to be Taliba to Taliba. He is running that school. That tells us all he does is to seek knowledge and spread it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help him in this. Inshallah wa ta'ala, he is the, uh, this is the little and few and hints that we give you about him. That tells us the one who is speaking to us is a scholar. It's not just somebody just like that. May Allah help us whatever and whatever we hear from him so we benefit from it. So like he will be speaking. It's he speak in Mandinko. We have our brother Mustafa Fatajo who will come forward. Come, inshallah, we'll be translating it into English. 
If they said I have a college to speak in English, we would appreciate it. <laughs> because he's from an English speaking country. Inshallah, anything he conveyed in English will be appreciated. If not, he's speaking Mandingo, which is the local language. Mustafa, inshallah, the other will take notes and translate it. The fact that it happens, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. Sayyid, the fact that Jazakallah khairan. Atamahmullah. Shakran, Shakran. Shakran. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. حوض. السلام عليكم. السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. أنا أظن إن أمكن هو يترجم كلمة بعد كلمة. إن شاء الله. هذا جيد. تفهم عربي أه؟ الحمد لله. فيك بارك الله. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسعدني جدا أن ألتقي بإخواني في الله إخواني في الدين في بيت من بيوت الله نتذاكر ونتدارس ونتناصح أقدم شكرا والتقدير لإمام المسجد الإمام بابا جغنة ومن معه في إدارة هذا المسجد ومن معه من المصلي أسأل الله رب العرش العظيم أن يرزقكم خير الدنيا والآخرة My English is not good That's why I will speak Mandinka So the brother inshallah going to translate it inshallah we are so happy to meet you guys. Alhamdulillah. I'm very, very, very glad to meet you, brother in Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you all. In these few minutes, you want to chat, you want to talk about Asala. Asala. Salah is very, 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 very important. As-salah. If you don't pray, you are not a Muslim. <coughs> Let me repeat this. Huh? If you don't pray, you are not a Muslim. If you don't pray, you are not a Muslim. If you pray, you are a Muslim. Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam says this, As-salatu. He says, Al-ahdu al-lazhi baynana wa baynahum as-salah. Faman tarakaha faqad kafara. The difference between us and them the different between us nahnu yani al muslimin we are the muslims the different between us we the muslims and non muslims is a salah He said, Salah. Al-Ahdu. Al-Ladhi baynana wa baynahum. Ya'ni ahl al-kufr. As-Salah. If you pray, you are a Muslim. If you don't pray, you are not a Muslim. As-Salah. 
هو الفارق أو هي الفارق بيننا وبينهم يعني الكفار من أقام الصلاة فقد أقام الدين ومن هدم الصلاة أي تركه فقد هدم الدين أي ترك الدين Let me say this is man in Mandinka. Uh, salo. Salo. Atele mu farda kilingoti. Niya lanko ala. Ayadi kila la sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kila besan wa sallam. Sungo. Ayadi kila la. Abenye mbankoka. Hijo ayadi kila la sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Abenye mbankoka Jako wa nyama Jihadu wa nyama Bari ala batu miyala nko Kabiling ala subhanahu wa ta'ala Pareta Kadi kila la alihi salatu salam Ayaku mandi sangu santo Ule musalote Ule musalote Ati mbroda Mustafa You can say this in English Bismillahirrahmanirrahim So the Sheikh he says So the Sheikh he says the salah is the only thing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was given in the heavens. Allah gave him or commanded the fasting, the Hajj, the jihad, the zakah, all of it Allah gave him while he was on this earth. But as for the salah, Allah saw it so important that he raised him to the heavens and he commanded to the establishment of the salah. Umutam and serolti is a sign. That is a sign. Minka tande kusalo akumayat. To show the importance of the prayer. Fulenjango salo wale mo pila fulenjango. A salah is the second pillar in Islam. Dolbenga longo salo mo pila lulu leti. We all know that the prayer is five pillars. So salo wale mo second pillar. Islam. Salah is the second pillar. Dolbe ngalongko niko banko presidano yo banko presidano no malongko omu mole timi alongko akumata banko ka. He says we all know that the president, his follower, the one behind him, the vice president, is someone that is really important in the country. Oto salo ni ngasuma wale mo vice president oti. So if we see then Allah made Salah the second pillar, then Salah is the vice president if we use that similitude. This shows the great importance of the Salah. He says, the first part, the first pillar is to say the Sahada, the Kalima. Followed by it, the second one, which is the salah. Kila sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Luna li atandiko, abala kuma kan labamu, ay mimfunti li janni abifala, akafa as-salah, 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 wa ma malakat ay manuko. He says, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is written and recorded, the last of the words that he said before he passed away, was the salah. He said, as-salah, as-salah, The prayer, the prayer, wa malakat imanukum, and that which your right hands possess. Wakoto wa munati, mina na Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, akanyinku makangu saying kang, as-salah, as-salah, as-salah. The meaning of which, what does he tell us, that he kept on repeating the prayer, the prayer, the prayer? Ni alfa, kana funti dunia, tu kana bang. Mbeka longko aka kumakamu mimfuntindi kumakan labangol wa ya solale wa kumaya tabul. He says when an elderly person, a leader is passing away, we all know the words that he last utters, they are really, really important. Wala na kila anihi salatu salamu salo wa kumaya tafi bake wala tina aya seinkang. Aka hafu al salo muta, al salo tanka, al salo londi. He says that is why the Prophet ﷺ when he was passing, he said, hold on to the prayer, establish the prayer and guard your prayer. 
kila alayhi salatu wassalam abe sasa rin wato minna sasa ya batande he says the prophet sallallahu the time of his sickness his illness the illness really disturbed him wa tudul purkana kama be salola akakole ya bu sometimes even to come and pray in congregation with the people was really difficult for him for lundo mo fulala ya muta do e jamuta do e jamuta iba ma ko e kam pur aina ma be salola such to the extent that one day he was carried by two companions one on his right one on his left to carry him to go and pray with the people lundo ya ma ko ayata rabu bakar be salendirola kabirin abu bakar ya je amurta koma kila alayhi salatu salam ya sindi akalo dami imamo kalo dami abe salola abu bakar be ya kala atala salola muslimo be ya kala abu bakar ma he said in that time the prophet sallam was carried and put in the place of the imam when abu bakar saw him he retreated he sat down the prophet sallam and he led the people in prayer abu bakar al-an would listen and repeat after him and the people would repeat after abu bakar bari lumu minna kila alayhi salatu salam be fala wa fajr salu amanta bari ay ridu chikandi ay muslim mulje be salola abu bakar koma kila sallallahu alayhi wasallam kontanta amunta asimalta fa sahabu li amira ko akendiyata do monding ibe salo tulaje pour kata kila wale he said to the extent when one time the fajr the day he was passing away he looked out pushed the curtain and he looked out at the sahabas he saw them praying in a state that made him so happy he smiled so much they thought that he got better and they almost left their prayer Abu Bakar lafta ka muru koma kila sallallahu alayhi wasallam ya bulo choda ya kai ko sabati inoto Abu Bakar radiyallahu anhu to retreat to let the prophet sallallahu alayhi lead the prayer the prophet sallallahu alayhi made a sign to him to stay in his position and continue the prayer I read o jindi asewata contenta janni ba fula silin ka wala muddu hawatoti ke baro nata ko kila sallallahu alayhi wasallam abanta And then before not long <coughs> he passed away before the time of duha it was proclaimed that the prophet sallam he passed away bari sola tamina wala mukabirin ay sahabu je be salola asontanta asewata ajalata the part he wants to point out is when he saw the sahaba praying and the prayer made him so happy he smiled and that made him happy ni min tande wala mu salo akumayata this shows the importance of the prayer sahabu wala mukila alayhi salatu wassalam na tanyult ibe kamben ta ko baro tije miyalon ko musa tu muslim ya kono aseke kafiroti na man ka saloti the sahabas they in agreement that there is no act in islam that a person will leave except the salah and it will take him out of the fold of islam otunye min tande wala musalo la kumaya then this shows the great importance of the prayer Salo ay fesmente a soto miyalon ko ase muslimu susundi ay ke salilati the prayer has a virtue that it will help a person to be righteous establishing the prayer anata kila alayhi salatu wassalam kuma kamalto it comes from the statements of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam ida qama al abdu yusalli ni jongolota abe salola wala mujanjumati wala muslimoti When the servant of Allah he stands and he prays which is the muslim ako yu ta bi dunubihi kulliha ikala junubul benati then all of his sins are brought forth when he stands to pray alila moy janna baake ako mat ka mo susun de salola so please pay great attention to this part ikala junubul benati ni ko allahu akbar ibe lori be salola اكل جنوب بيناتي فيوضع على راسه وعاتقيه يبال جنوب ناتلا يدولندي اكوموتو يدولندي اسانيوتو عاتق ولا ما بين الرقبه والمنكب ولا مو ينا معاتقتي ها من نقول كفا سانيو ها اكل جنوب ناتي نيكو الله اكبر الوتا يجنوب ناتي يا لندي 
ni alandi ikungoto do landi isanyoto ite jimita irukota isujuta ila junubol kajolo wala nya he says when the muslim he stands to pray all of his sins are brought forth they are placed some of it on top of his head and others on his shoulder and when he makes ruku the sins they start to fall off wala tinna yin kanu ni jongo be sallo sakantu ma damma ay ruku ruku wala mo jimo nyin aya mendi sujudo aya mendi fo junu bol se jolo this is why it is encouraged when the servant he prays especially by himself to prolong the ruku so that his sins will all fall off kila ko yuta bi dhunubihi kulliha ibala junubul bele natila wa yatanni ko junube bal ali junube dumundi mal ibedul taje allah akbar so he says the prophet of he said all of his sins are brought forth so meaning that all the sins major the greater ones and the lesser ones they are all brought forth and they are all wiped away lundo kila alayhi salatu wassalam ay sahabu alyinka akoy ko aliyaje nyadi ni moye dalo soto dalo wala muslim pun tiba ay o soto ala luwoto ake kuje lungo lung sinya lulu funno be tula bala ikay ko hani ako salawatu lulu be wala nyama he says the prophet sallam he told the sahabas one time do you see when one has a swimming pool as out of his gate if he were to take a shower in them five times a day <laughs> would there remain any sin on him they said no he said that is the likelihood that's the likelihood of the salah the person who prays five times all his sins they come off andu tolbe be sondin kon tolbe mu junu be tiol leti and we are all knowing that we accept we are all sinners kila ko sallallahu alaihi wasallam kullu bani adama khata adama dingo be momo ka jiyo min dorong ika boyele ika mistake le he said the prophet sallam he said every son of adam is a sinner they all commit mistakes aliyaje minatina ala tabaraka wa ta'ala ay salawatu lulu fardha yandin tulka ntolla nafale bije barata la nafakil intije he says that you will see then why allah he made the prayer to be established it is from our own benefit not to benefit allah himself ntol ala bato nyawo nya nte ala nafa nola no matter how much we worship allah it does not benefit allah huwal ghani atale mo fan kama ti miyalon ka man sola fenna man sola mula man sola de marla da fe mol bolu he is al ghani the one who is free of all need the one who is rich and does not need anything from his creation aya fo fi hadith al qus ya ibadi la anna awwalakum wa akhirakum wa insakum wa jinnakum kanu ala afjar qalb rajul minkum man naqasa dhalika min mulki shay'a aqwaltul adama dingo ya ibadi altul adama dingo altul na jomon na tara la mo folol ana la mo labang alla jinul la adama dingo ibe kete sonde me kilinti min kuriya to sonde mol beti ako man fen tala ndala man sayata allah he says he mentions the hadith the hadith could see where allah he says oh mankind if all of you the first of you and the last of you the jinn and the man if you were to all become one and one very evil corrupt person you would not deduce from allah's greatness even a little ape wala nyama ala opposite nin tol be kambenta nketa sonde me kilinti nin beti ata sonde mo beti mo folol mo labangol hada madingol jinol o mam fen lafa alla la man sayata and he says it is the same if all of mankind the first and the last the jinn and the men were to all become one very pious person it would not increase allah's greatness even a little bit alako inna ma hiya a'malukum uhsiha lakum al tol na jongol al salon ko al kaminke alla barolem ka kafun kafun alie ako faman wajada khairan falyahmidillah nimmi ya kairoje asa ala tent wa man wajada ghayra dhalik nimmi wa tanuje fala yalumanna illa nafsa akana mujalai na manki afanti 
He says, then Allah, He says, then all of your deeds, the which you do, whether it is the good or bad, Allah God has all of it, and He brings His forth to you. So whosoever finds good, then let him thank Allah. And whosoever finds evil, then he has no one to blame except himself. Anajibe, ayala balafa, anala nemo, ayajindin tolkang, ayala nkwete mu, adama dingo latika boile, ayfendo landie, bimbe la junubo tutula, mumbe seniyande la kabo, junubot, mumbe kosalo. He said that Allah made it for us that we sin so much, He established something like the prayer for us to be able to remove our sins from ourselves. This is a virtue from Allah. Another hadith of Kila alayhi salatu salam and info, Minka tendiko salo akumat. Akoni monata, Anata purka saljo muta. Bantol denga alonko janning, ibita salo le saljo mutala. Eko bismillah, ebulo ku. Kila ko salo wa alayhi salam. Ji tondi laba ngu mumbe jolo na kabo ibuloto Ani njunu bol bele ka jolo ibulo ya mimba He says the Prophet mentions in the hadith When one of you goes to begin his prayer when he makes the wudu He makes the wudu with the, the last drop of the water that drop comes out of his fingers Allah removes all of the sins as the last drop of water they fall off from his hand Wa kathali kaniye nyada ku Inya keso ye fengu fengu jube kabu junu boto haramoto Kila kwa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ji tondi labango mumbe jolona Ani junu bo bele ka jolong He says likewise all of the sins that the face has committed the eyes have seen When you make the wudu the last drop of water that comes down from the face All of the sins that have been committed by the face they all fall down with the last drop of water Na ya singo fanangu wanyama Ji tondi laba wa mumbe jolona Ani njunubo le ka jolo miyalan ko singo ya bara Likewise the same thing when he makes wudu and he cleans the feet All of the sins they fall off from the feet As the last drop of water is dripping off from the feet Ali haji nyadi nimmo ye salatu dhuhru sali Aina salatu al-asr aywa sali Aywa na Maghrib sali Aisafu sali Abi lala Ani njunu bote lala Subhanallah So then do you not see That the person who prays And he prays fajr with all this virtue He prays zuhur with all this forgiving of sins He prays asir And he prays maghrib And he prays isha Then how will that person sleep with sins Latina Ya khwani fi Allah As-salah Kukila alihi salatu salam Ayin karafala nyani He says then The prayer it is as the Prophet Sallam He has left it with us He has given it to us Qissa bi jamiyalan ku Qissa tu Umar ibn al-Khattab Min ka tandiku Wallahi ya rafa nyunul Iman faya salula He says There is the story The story of Umar ibn al-Khattab that which shows us that the Sahabas they did not play with their prayer. Dol, doko akatina kasalwatol tuje. He says some of us, our jobs, they make us leave the prayer. Maje barinka moiko dol ikasalol la nyokang ni tata suoko na ikwe kajo. He says he, had, he has not seen it, but he has heard it. Some, they combine all of their prayers. They do not pray it until they get home and pray all of their prayers one time. He says then, listen to this heartbreaking story. Which will show you then if the prayer was to be left, then Umar ibn Khattab would be would have been the first one to leave it. Umar ibn Khattab, abe Fajr salola, abe Muslimul salindika, Fajr salola, kila sallallahu alaihi wasallam na jami wat mumbe Madina. Umar ibn Khattab was leading the people in prayer in the Fajr prayer in the Masjid of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. 
ወሉሞ ዋቶል ኢላ ጃሚንል ቱል ጃሚንል በኛሚን ላይት ፈማራሪን ዱላል ቤ ፈኖሪን ኢካሞል ቤጀ ኢቱል ሞሰቱ ኑ ኢካዱም ፈጅሮ ኾኖ ሙን በዳላ ይቡካ ሱቴጅ ማለኝንቲ he says during their time budget was not like ours there were no lights there were no roofs it was not conditioned as ours he said such that the one who would pray next to you you would not recognize the person umar ibn khattab radiyallahu an abi mul salim likan kedo dunda abu lulu al majushi dunda jamu kan dunda safal kan فافتت عمر اي عمر سو اكون اكون he says and then while they were in prayer a man by the name of abu lulu al majushi he came while they were praying the fajr salah in the darkness he came and he stabbed umar ibn khattab inside the prayer hamurta koma wala nyama kabe borla muslimul minul yaje wal ya atak he says then he retreated to escape but the muslims who saw him they attacked him munul be jami ngot tonko moto ol ma kala moto ko kule be kedi those at the corners of the masajid they didn't even realize something was going on e min moy rek ya jeko min be karan wala no min keta umar la voice ala ko makango afalin tale modo la voice le bije ay modo le tamindi the only thing they realized was that Umar ibn Khattab was reciting and then the recitation changed so they knew Umar ibn Khattab was not leading the prayer no more somebody else was leading Muslim ul minul ya atak nimmi sutiyata la aya so nimmi jamfata la so faye mo jama boy jamme kono fo muslim be je ya lon kala dendi ka ba ay wule wuran aya faya kan aketa ay jaloti silan aya lon ko yemmu tale otumo atafongo ya fankana te He says then the muslims who he was next to they were stabbing him pushing him until one who was close to him he took off his thobe and he threw it on top of him then the man the one who stabbed Umar ibn Khattab he realized now there is no escape so he himself he killed he completed himself he killed himself na min befo na fo ya bari man sola jela kana min fo sain sola to walale alila moy bag He said but everything I have said I just said it part of the story but this is not what I need the part that I want you to listen to this is what I'm about to say Omar be munalum salo kabirin ya so aboita kabirin aboita muslim dole ya chika ka samba ala suwo kono ak ketuta amam fen kalamuta because muna tinna abe bleed kan yellow be bola Said Umar ibn Khattab was praying when he was stabbed he fell unconscious some of the muslims they took him and they took him to his house ade katoring aman tarafen kalamata foya landi ala larango kam he was unconscious and he he was not aware of what was going on until when they placed him on top of his bed in salata minna gana walafa Kadiri Umar abarata ala waketoto anyayalata the first question kuma kam follow ay minyinka ako asallan nas fumul sal taliba he said as Umar ibn Khattab awoke from his unconsciousness the first thing that he asked was did the people pray Allahu akbar asallan nas fumol sal taliba fumol sal taliba he said have the people prayed he was asking and questioning did the people pray he kai ko hakai mol sal tale and he was answered yes indeed the people they have prayed hako alim ma ko nga sali he said then so help me let me pray myself alim ma ko nga sali help me let me pray ya ma koy nyadile wala mu ya chika ya sindi ya sembendi bungo bala how did they help him they took him up they sat him and laid him next to the wall 
Marku Allahu Akbar. And he made a takbir. He started his prayer. Akumu bijimila be wulla. His head was falling down and he was raising his head. Fae saluti mandi. Until he completed his prayer. Ay kuma kangu fo miya lungko dunia tenyin la o kuma kangu la. Ala salo bandi ngoko la. After his salah, he made a statement that the world will never forget. Ako la hawa fil islam liman taraka salah. Muman niyo soto mislimi akono miye salo tuje. He said, there is no portion of Islam for the person who lives of his salah. Ayin di mo jube, umari yamin soto, wanya wanya aman yina salola. Pay attention to the pain Umar ibn Khattab he went through, but no matter what, he did not leave his prayer. Matunga fwe, purisa lanko yarafang ala dimo wartale. Dosa mira kohani askena man serious, bari a serious tane. He said then let me further explain so that you will know that the pain he was going through was really extreme. Umar solata jiola, ye jio di ala pur ayaming. Omar ibn Khattab, he was thirsty and he asked for water. They gave him water to drink. They gave him water to drink. And as he was drinking the water, the place that he was stabbed, the water was coming out from that place. No, no. Ya wadi ya la, ya jeko nono, ala wakoyo, ani nguwe yelo benyami kaibi funtila, ya lanko ya rafang Omar la dimu alem. So they saw, some of them were saying, the water that was coming out from his stab was water. Some were saying it is the blood. Others were saying, no, it is the water. So they said, then bring milk. Let us give him some milk. As they gave him milk, and he drank the milk, the milk came out from the same wound that he was stabbed from. Watumul Muslimul ina ata jikila teyo sotoko Omar asike no ate balo la kwateke. Because ala baramo asiri yostade. Then at that point, the Muslims, they had some inclination to believe that Omar ibn Khattab would no longer live to surpass this wound. Laftakadan nunjang nyang pisala bari Nafabi jemi ya lanko nse kewal hakilo bulandi. Wala tinambi kisa nyinte ntende la domandi. He said I would have loved to stop at this point of the story. But there is an extra benefit especially for the men. So I will continue with the story. Otumule ya Umar landi ala lara moka. He said at that point they laid Umar ibn Khattab on top of his bed. Nika mune batu wale mo ala ya ta. Because ya long konying ate wuli la kotek. What were they waiting for? They said at this point he is not going to live. So they were waiting for Allah to take his soul. Ya la ni dami muslimu wal kadunga kang ika kontong. Do se dung safa umar. Ikata nyaton ko kendoti. Do se na umar yemmara itilinta. Do se na umar sewo. Kila alihi salatu salam Ayese wande aljana dungola Jandin kakata He said The Muslims were coming in And greeting Omar ibn Khattab Some were saying to him What a great leader you were for the Muslims Some were coming in Were saying What a righteous person that you were Some were coming in And they were saying Rejoice The Prophet sallam gave you glad tidings Of entering Jannah While he was alive Ebe wala musol bedunna kewal bedunna funding kewal kewal bedunna ebe dua lai iba jamula for funding kedo dun takang. For funding kewo ay Omar jamu ay dua tay ay kumakendo for ay koladi akabita Omar anya boita asin dapatol kang. Aya aje kwa ala kurtu wa nyingi, aya mindung, atambita ala talikulola, abe kuruntula bangkoka. 
So Umar ibn Khattab, one man came in as the men and the women were coming in, the young and the old were coming in, everyone was praising and making dua for him. Suddenly a man he came in. The man who came in, his pants, after the man praised Umar ibn Khattab and he made dua for him, spoke good about Umar ibn Khattab, as he was leaving Umar ibn Khattab, he looked down and he saw that the man, his pants, they passed his uncle and they were dragging on the floor. Hakuru duale yel gulam. Alim fon ninke wo moron dinkang. Ika ko hey, idanku. Amirul mu'mini. Anata. Alal hakil wo moron dikoma. Di mo nying a serious tanyabi. Bari, nyinjo wato umar man nyina no jela. Ika ko man ant. Jumala mo yiteti. Ika ko ana abdullah. Nte mo abdullah let. Abdullah koto arabo kaon. Ndol la kama tole mo ala la jongo. Nde mo ala la jongo. Abdullah koto mwale. Niko Abdullah ole mo ala la jongo. Abdurrahman, Rahman na jongo. Obe mo ala la ti. Aka nde mo Abdullah la ti. Yamwe. Omar kaya ko inkunta. Abdallahi haqqan farfa' izaraka. Ni mo ala la jongo la ti tonya. Ila sitifano chikandi. Aka na kuruntu banko ka. So he said, Umar ibn Khattab requested that the man be brought back to him. <coughs> and remember, he was still in great pain. So when the man was brought back to him, he asked, Who are you? The man, he said, I am Abdullah. In, the, in Arabic meaning, he was saying that I am just another servant of Allah. So Umar ibn Khattab, he told him, If you are truly a servant of Allah, then raise your garment, let it not flow on the ground. Ni atandiko purkewo ila kurto ila dendiko ayetambi kumbali ngola amu junube balati kabo junube balkona. This shows and reminds us that for a man, for your pants, your clothing, your garment to fall below your ankle and drag on the floor is a great sin. Anyan nadan nadaming ole mutalu kulo akana tambi wola. Na chikata woto abeti yata Bare na jita woye Alonko ika junubole soto He says then know That for the man His clothing must not pass The ankle bone If it is way above it That is better But it should not pass the ankle Bare insolata minna Umar Ala kuramo Ala baramo Adimita nyawonya Bare amanyina salola but the part we want to point out after this benefit is that Omar ibn Khattab, no matter the greatness of his pain, he did not forget the prayer. Eka doje, ntola Gambia. I telephone and crossas. Ntebe lopitano to, karifula mansali. Sambe wa salojo la nyadi. Nkafoje, ni alaye tanu wa watola. Ibe munefula alaye wa malqiyama. Ala aman yamfa mwe salola Hanna tara ikuranta aman yamfa salola Ayamfa ta mwujumala Muso Miyala nko Abala adoto Hala yamfa tama Wa watu ate salila Ayamfa ta fana mwe salola Mbelari abe sinola Watu minna Na wulta Ala yasalo wajibi andaka Ani nyama to, miyala nko hakilo utabala, na hakilo murtabala abe salala. Ani ndini ngo fujani abe kebaya. Na manke nyunuti, mo manyamfa, ala manyamfa mwe salola. Hani be jihado kono jihado, miyala nko kankunto bije, aye ya maripuri ya salolo. So Allah, he does not excuse anyone from the prayer, no matter what the circumstances are. Except for the woman in their menses, the sleeping person until he wakes up, the one who has lost his intellect until he returns back to the normal state, the child until they have reached the stage of puberty. He says, even jihad, in that position where people are killing each other, Allah did not excuse the people from the prayer. Oto mbadingol kilani his salat as salam ya fanyami as salat as salat. الصلاة وما ملكت أيمانكم 
al salo muta ay bamba al salo londi al salo kumadi al salo tanka ninne mukila sallallahu alaihi wasallam na wasiyati ay bindi iman tola he says then it is as it is oh my beloved brothers as the prophet he mentioned he reminded the prayer the prayer the prayer establish the prayer protect the prayer guard your prayers مول بيان ام كو دونتا جهنم كبريه ينين كما سلك كون في سقا منو يال فاي دي مبا كونو يكاف مي سقا منو يال دوندي دي مبا كونو يكاف مي سقا جواب فلو يمندي لم نكو من المصلي نتول من ترى نو سلي لال كونو على ما لي ان تان كاما يسال سم اوف ذا بيبل هو وير ثرون ان ذا هيل فاير دي وير اكس Ma salaka kum fi sakar what has led you to this evil place they will say we did not used to pray wala tinna dunya nyino akana tinna nganyena na salola so he says then seeking this worldly life should not stop us from our prayers ntol mam fel soto min kum mayata alati tabaraka wa ta'ala we do not have anything that is more important to us more than Allah wala na nga kata nin alay dia tabaraka wa ta'ala so we must do our best to have a good relationship with Allah and dong salo fenti je min kum ma ta saloti he says and then there is no nothing more important than the prayer ni ka sali ika sutiya alala the one who prays he gets closer to Allah alay wa al quran Allah says it in the quran surah alaq In Surah Al-Alaq, in kata iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, which is iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, ala aya labango, in the last aya, wasjud wa qtarib, wasjud wa qtarib, sujud yasutiya ala la tabaraka wa ta'ala, make the sujud, the prostration, it will bring you closer to Allah, kenata sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kam, a man he came to the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, aka alafta ngake itanyo ti aljanakona, He said I want to be your companion in Jannah. Ila sidu lan kalisije. Your place of seat so I can sit there as well. Kila ka alayhi salatu wasalam animu. The prophet told, told him what what else do you want? Ka lafta wala durum. He said that's the only thing I want. Ay mune fai. What did he tell him? Aka ma koy ifangoto yesalo siendi yesu judo siendi. So then help me by yourself to pray a lot of salah and make a lot of sujood wala tinna salo aka jongo suti andi amarela he says then this is why the prayer it brings the servant close to his lord ninemu do man dingoti ngame soto this is from the little bit that we have pour mbe sa talanyo tema so that we can all benefit from it ayenta nafa ayatol nafa so it will benefit me and it will benefit you Hakil bulandi role ma manke ko man long bare alon to bare ko nyu hakilo bulandi He says it is well known but it is just a reminder Muslimol Muslimol benta dawda ye nyu hakilo bulandi Wherever the Muslims they meet they remind each other Benna kontano tandi la koteke We want to show our gratitude and say what ba ke ni mbadi ngol ye be muslim ya ka It brings us great pleasure to meet our Muslim brothers. Na si watu dantan kanyo kachande alala anala kila anala dino. To sit for a little while to remember Allah and his religion. Me brothers all tend to like jai min yenyen chance dinna. We want to thank all the brothers who gave us this chance. Me Imam Baba Jagana tend to la ka jai at mi yalon ko tele min yen jami wala almamoti masjid makki. We want to thank the Imam Imam Baba who is the Imam of this masjid Masjid Makki. Me ba dingol ten to lam yalon kay man na kango moy bari sita ni na kano kamba. We want to thank all the brothers even though we do not speak the same language they do not understand our language they still sat to listen for the sake of the religion. Ma belal salilal be alama ale na junubul kafar. All of those who are present the people who come to pray may Allah forgive all of our sins may Allah give us good health 
alama alena jinubul kafar may allah forgive our sins alama alena also labanya nyemala may allah give us a wonderful good ending alama alena albendi ayen kafu jannatal firdausil a'la bi ghayri hisab may allah god us in the heavens in jannah without any account banko jara jaro mum be kerin banko dolto alama alaya sumende ayake kairati the earthquakes that we have been hearing that are happening in other parts of the world may allah bring peace yo nimbe mum be kerin alaka tande jongol alman fenno tele nga fenno all of these are from the signs of allah to show that you cannot do anything all power is with allah banko banko mi alon ka kala symbol tande ala la symbol wartati Any nation that shows itself to be a superpower Allah is the one who has all power. Ajibi ala banko jara jara moti je min sa stop no. Look how Allah shook the earth below them no one was able to hold it. Alama ala nal dema. May Allah help us. Hada wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Imam. جزاكم الله خيرا ونشكر الشيخ على ما ألقى من كلمة وزنس في هذا الموضوع الحساس ما يتعلق بأمر الصلاة فصلاة أمرها قديم نسأله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلنا من الذين يقيمونها إن شاء الله بقي لنا من الصلاة ربع الساعة يعني خمسة عشر دقيقة إن شاء الله نريد من الشيخ إذا كان عنده وقت إن شاء الله ربما نطرح له عليه بعض الأسئلة إن شاء الله فيما يتعلق بالصلاة إن شاء الله يجيب عنها إن شاء الله إن شاء الله we thank the sheikh we appreciate this word that he gave meaning this speech relating to this sensitive topic which is the صلاة as we know The salat is very important, as we all understood from his statements. Due to we have 15 minutes left to the salat, we will want to give some few questions to the Sheikh in regard to the salat. So, inshallah, we have 10 minutes to do that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to acquire what we hear from him. And act upon it. Me, I will want to say, I'll give him a question regarding something that I think have connection to the salah that is from me to him. If he can give us simulation, how people should make their sufuf when they come to the masjid. If he can give us simulation and to do it practical, because I know he's broadcasted. So a lot of people will be benefiting from here and also outside of here. Inshallah. I think it's very understood. Mm. But Mustafa will translate it, Inshallah. Uh, I wanted to clear that portion for him, the simulation, so maybe him and you can stand up and do it the protocol so everybody will listen to it, Inshallah. Okay, uh, if we now need to carry on, you understand? The Imam, the Sheikh wants to say, we understand the question. Baraka baraka, Imam Jalana. He wants to thank the Imam very well. Kasaful tilindi, jani mul bedun nasalo kana awajbi yatale. To establish the lines, to make the lines straight before we start the prayer, it is something that is obligatory. قال عليه الصلاه والسلام اترتنو جنين ابا فلا الله اكبر فاسمول تمبلي كاكا كلا بنيو تمبلي يعني the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam before he would start the prayer he would make sure that he made the line straight اترتنو اكا كبا كونكون والما اكا فو الكانيا اكا سيمول جيب اكا فو الكانيا ايتي ناجا ite murkoma jannin abafla allah akbar akaje ko safol timata he would meticulously watch the people he would say you come forward you move your shoulder close to your brother you fill in the gaps you 
stand straight before he will start the prayer. Akanyeneke fa jikita ko mulia fa hamne. He would do this to the extent that he believed until the people they understood. Lundo anata akaba fala Allahu akbar dorong jenning aba fala Allahu akbar ay modoje. Asiso be banta. One day he was about to bring, begin the prayer as he raised his hand and he was going to make the takbir he saw someone from behind his chest was exposed Kila sallallahu alaihi wasallam ay fendi kila lam yanam kama di mola na ya nyatili akajero ke nyato nyami akakoma fananje wala nyama Allah he gave something to his prophet that which others do not have when he stood he was facing forward he would see behind him the same way he would see in front of him otumole akoyeko la tusawun nasufu fakum alballa safotile ndila force ajibe aya bambandi kafmi nunu tawki aya bambandi akotum wallahi alballa safotile ndila nal mal safotile ndila ala balla sondo moy wali lenda al sondo mote kala kala at that point he said he will definitely establish the lines correctly in the sense that he made a severe warning as if he was swearing by Allah you will surely make your line straight if you do not do so Allah will make your hearts to deviate sin da patol nyanna nakila njola the feet should be close to each other al ka'b bil ka'b wal mankib bil mankib The shoulders should be closely lined with the shoulders and the ankles should be closely lined with the ankles. Hanin lota keno min kataraje amanyan na taralaje ninga keno tuje shaytanu leka loje. Even if we are to stand in prayer sometimes the gaps that we leave even the smallest gaps shaytan will stand in between us. Wala na kila sasan tarqaf wa suddul khalal. So this is why the person he would say al 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 hol suki close the gaps o kamala muslimul isayaka kila la sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that the muslims would follow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam carefully mejikirinko imamul semul ma ko ye we would we highly wish and hope that the imams will always help the people in establishing the lines bari hanna tarajarta imam wa mubula la kai ko koma safol jube ya tembendi wasa kenole But even if the imam was to point someone and say go and straighten all the lines then that person can do so. Jannin takbiratu ihram be kelanga jiko safol atembete atilinta. Before we would make the opening takbir we would make sure that all the lines have been established properly. Inna tasyiyata sufuf min tamam as-salah. Indeed in straightening the lines it is a portion a part of the prayer. Allahu a'lam. انا لا نوز بس مساعيت عندي ايوه انا لي فين لي اوكي يا كيف مصطفى اوكي ما كنت يا ما كويشن واز لي ما دي شيخ واز سين دي سمبدي واز ان ذا هوسبيتال na fudiya mo kono mol mi yalon ko wolle ka salojo wal wala nga fuko mo dantan wolle ka salojo andu ne wol fa mo koro si ila al halo aman ko ko be joro la bari ba salikan ila wato la he says so in our speech we have, we mentioned something that showed the people who are supposed to pay their prayer He said but in fact they are not paying the prayer but they are only excused from praying and they are praying at their right times anna in hatta yastiqiza wal musinu lati fujannin abi wala abilarin amantaw asinota watu minna abisinola itajunubu safalai iyam fatama salola fujannin abi wala na wul tadura silam anyanna munakala ay sali So ba je la kwate man tara jorola bari abe salikan wato lam yalan ko ay wala soto 
he says so for example the one who is sleeping while he is asleep he is excused from praying until he wakes up then he must pray that which he has missed so it is not as if he is paying what he missed but he is pay, praying at the right time which is after he has woken up Ghazwa dolem kene dolem kila sallallahu alayhi wa sallam na la sahabu li ijiyata dola dota ikonyo yuko yuma lebe molu kunin na sallallahu Bilal fakata lebe okela inshallah ade molu kilil ni wato sita wato sita suba sabo wato nyin abota yo min folo ulta yiko fa umar lemba asutiyata kila la la manda fi ka kunin aka Allahu akbar ko santo pour kila alayhi salatu salam ya bara ashahid in salata minna kabirin iwul tawsinu la imufta domandi inata sali ya fajiru sali ya suba sali sinu ya ta na so he said there was a time when the prophet and his sahabas they went on an expedition and they reached the place of resting so they said who will awaken us from our sleep Bilal said I will do so but everyone overslept and no one woke up except he believed uh, Umar ibn Khattab was the w- first one to woke up to wake up when he woke up he was next to the prophet but he didn't wake him up he went forward and he made the takbir until the people woke up mo fulan ya mo porka suti ya wala mo annasi wala mo timyalan ko ajinata so na hakilu ya ma dorong wala mo ala watot kila alayhi salatu wa salam ghazwatu khandaq ayina ta'lan sarol umar ayina ta'lan sarol sahabu ayina ta'lan sarol yin kam ko ibe do ko la because kuffar kafirun wala ftakadum madina ko no pour que kelen ibe o din ko sin kam ayina ta fo alan saro tambeta umar nata kila wali sallallahu alayhi wasallam akai wallahi ayina ta sarol ha kila kai wallahi ta fana ayina ta bari yemune ke kabri hakilo ya ma ya sal ala ko aqimi salata li dhikri wa aqimi salata li dhikri isa salo londi yake ni hakilo bulatana so he says another part after those who for, uh, oversleep they get up and they pray is the one who forgets to pray he says the prophet sallam and the sahabas when they went on the expedition of khandaq they forgot asr because they were busy with digging the hole they were at the point of fighting the kufar so they were busy digging the hole until asr passed so omar realized realized that asr passed so he came he told the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that i forgot asr the prophet sallam he said me too i forgot it and so they came together and they prayed which reminds us of allah statement pray when you forget the prayer pray when you remember to, rem- to establish my remembrance yo ninne mu mo fulati min kasalo jo yo amma nimmi sita fa salawatu tambita atambita salawatu tambita taunta ya ka mai ko bina salo jo la ita jo no yo nindo fanam ya lan ka ka be lopitano atama lan ko nyanna salila aman sali for two months three months one month one week o ta jo no la ولكن مومو سيتا يتاوتا فصلو تامبيتا لو نال كو هاني ياجو على تا متلا نين كام كو ايتا تاوتا لي او تو جوماني كسالو جو كو نغا فنيا ما مانك جورو فاماتي وول كاكا الى رايت تايم نتي ني مو فلو لب ولا مون بسينو لا اولتا ولا من ينتا احكيلو يا ما الله تبارك وتعالى اعلم واجل نعم في سيز سو استاذ يريد حمام اذن الحمام اتوضا he does not have anything to pay even if he prays it allah will not accept his prayer the scholars they have mentioned that the people who are allowed to pay their prayer which allah will accept from them are those as he has mentioned those who are asleep when they wake up and those who forget and the others are like that he has mentioned 